Hello. So the older I get, the more and more I find myself wanting to dress like one of my childhood icons, Miss Frizzle. I just want to include the things I love in my fashion choices every day. I really love Halloween and autumn and all things spooky or cozy, and I've also been into detachable collars or statement collars lately, and I've had this idea to combine those two things and make some Halloween-inspired collars. I've decided to make three different collars for this video. The first one is inspired by this guy right here, a pumpkin collar. Here is my sketch for what I'm thinking for this. It is basically an orange collar with some rounded edges and then two leaves in the front to kind of look like a little bow tie. And then I want to embroider all the details of the ridges and like on the leaves as well, just to give it some more visual interest. Um, I've never embroidered before, so this this will be interesting. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that that's what I'm thinking for my pumpkin collar. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, through the magic of editing, show all that and how I made it right now. Here are some of the materials I used to make my collars, just some fabric, ribbon, embroidery floss, and fusible interfacing. I used a pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. She's made this available for free as well as a tutorial, so I will link that all in the description below. I cut out the pattern on my fabric and then on my dress form used some chalk to draw out where I wanted the ridges of the pumpkin to be on my collar. My fabric was pretty thin, so I ironed on some interfacing just so it wouldn't be so flimsy. With the ribbon in place, I then sewed the two pieces right side together. Then I cut up to the stitching to make sure that when I turned it right side out, that all my rounded edges would be nice and neat. With the base color finished, I could then decorate it with some embroidery floss. I used a running stitch for this. Um, since this is my first time embroidering, I just wanted a stitch that looked simple enough and wouldn't overwhelm me right away. Once I had all the pumpkin details finished, I moved on to making some leaves. I just drew a general leaf shape and then traced it onto some green fabric. I mapped out where I wanted the veins of the leaves to be and then with a lighter green embroidery floss just traced over my design. With the embroidery finished, I then attached the leaves to the collar just by sewing them on. Almost done, we just need to use some fire. I am running the tip of the ribbon through the flame to seal the edges and prevent any future fraying. And with that, my pumpkin collar is done. For my second collar, I am drawing inspiration from spider webs. Here is what I sketched up. It's just a gray collar and then has some lacy trim. Lace reminds me of spider webs. It's just very delicate and beautiful. And then on the front, I want to embroider some web designs. And then editing, here is all the footage of how I made it. Using that same pattern, I just cut it out on some gray fabric. Here I am marking out where my seam allowance is, that way I know where to pin my lace down.
I'm usually pretty good about not sewing over needles, but I missed one and rest in peace, buddy. With my lace and ribbon stitched in place, I then sewed my two pieces together and again cut up to the stitching on any rounded edges or corners. The base collar was almost done, but first... Okay, now I can start embroidering. Like my pumpkin leaves, I drew on the design first and then went over it with my floss and stitched that on. I used what is called a split stitch, where you basically just poke your needle through the stitch you just made and sew it that way. Um, I'm learning so many stitches, I've got two under my belt now, but um, here it is. I forgot to film myself stitching the other side, so you'll just have to see that in the reveal at the end. For my third and final collar, I am designing it off of freaking bats. I love Halloween. Here is what I've sketched up. It is the most simple of all the collars, just some bat wing shapes with a bow in front. But yeah, that's my third collar. Uh, here's how it went. First thing I did was trace the Tilly and the Buttons pattern and then used a small bowl to make some bat wing shapes. Then I took my modified pattern and cut it out on my fabric. With everything pinned down, I then sewed it and then cut a bunch of notches in my seam allowance just to make things look nice and neat and so we have a nice pointy bat. Just finishing it up with some last few details. And with that, all the collars are done and ready for the reveal. That is pretty much it for this video. I'm really excited with how these turned out. I think they're adorable and just some really fun Halloween spooky time accessories to have. And yeah, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And that is it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!